Need help figuring out what to do with all of those sweet potatoes you've got? Mm, you've come to the right place because I happen to have a plethora of sweet potato recipes. I happen to be the sweet potato girl. I happen to be obsessed with sweet potatoes. And in this video, I'm going to share my 10, yes, 10, I couldn't narrow it down, <laughs> but my 10 favorite sweet potato recipes. Hi, I'm Janae and this is Sweet Potato Soul. And if you couldn't tell by the title of this video and the name of my channel, I am obsessed with sweet potatoes. I have been blogging for 11 years now and over that time I have amassed a lot, a lot of sweet potato recipes. Now before we get into the video, let's just clear some things up. What is the difference between sweet potatoes and yams? They happen to be two different vegetables. According to my research, the reason we call sweet potatoes yams is because way back when, one of the states wanted to differentiate themselves from the other sweet potato growing states, like Georgia, my home state. And so they started marketing sweet potatoes as yams in order to make them seem a little bit exotic, but also still, you know, something like, it looks like a sweet potato, but maybe it's actually a yam. Maybe I'm gonna try that. And somehow that term yam just stuck around. But actually, yams are super different. They're also tubers, but they're not sweet like sweet potatoes. They are even more starchy, like way starchier. And they're white. Yams are more commonly used in Caribbean and African cuisine. So you're not gonna actually find yams at your regular, say Ralph's or Sprouts grocery store. You're gonna usually have to go to a specialty market to find them. So that's the difference between sweet potatoes and yams. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you also subscribe. You know what, I'm just gonna wait. Let me wait, I'm gonna wait and let you do that right now. Yeah, you done? Okay, great, wonderful. Let's get into our video. My first and favorite recipe for sweet potatoes is the sweet potato chocolate muffins. These pretty much have a cult following on my blog and my Instagram. So many hundreds or maybe even thousands of people have made this recipe. They are so popular because they're absolutely delicious. The sweet potato in the muffins helps give them even more moisture and added flavor as well. And they have a very special secret ingredient that makes them even more moist and perfect and gives them that perfect Perfect, like I, I don't even have words for how good the muffin top is. So you're definitely going to want to check that recipe out. I'm going to have all of these sweet potato recipes listed down below, linked to their videos. So you can watch the full thing and get the full recipe too. So sticking with sweets, because I must have a sweet tooth right now, my other favorite recipe is my sweet potato cinnamon rolls. These are like the best thing you can make for brunch. I actually have two sweet potato cinnamon roll recipes, one on my blog and a different one in my cookbook. And let me tell you, the one in the cookbook has a sweet potato cream cheese icing on top. They are seriously amazing. You have to give them a try. Have you ever tried sweet potato noodles? And when I say sweet potato noodles, I mean turning the sweet potato into the actual noodle using a spiralizer. And then I basically toss them with lots of delicious vegetables and a tangy lime and almond sauce. It does not get much better than this. That is one of my favorite sweet potato recipes of all time. I love this recipe because it's got so much color and the sweet potato noodles actually end up being just as satisfying as any other type of noodle made from rice or wheat. Before I was a full-time blogger and cookbook author, I was actually a private chef in New York City and one of my most popular recipes was the sweet potato burgers. 
these are. I mean, everything on my list is amazing. I did not put anything mediocre on the list, none of that. Everything is amazing, including these sweet potato burgers. I love them because they have so much texture and so much flavor. You'll look at the spices in there and like you can just see from the recipe that it's going to be a flavor explosion in your mouth. They're really wonderful to eat as burgers between you know two slices of bread, but I also like to break them up over my salad or even sometimes just eat them as a snack, just like dip them in tahini and just like that. They also happen to be one of my favorite things to put on my meal prep guides because they're so easy to make. You use the food processor to throw them together and because they freeze really well. So if you haven't had my sweet potato burgers, you definitely, definitely, definitely want to give these a try ASAP. And similar to my sweet potato burgers, but maybe a little simpler and maybe even a little bit more familiar are my sweet potato falafels. Oh, they're really good. Mm. You eat them just how you would eat falafel. You can make a falafel sandwich. You can eat like make a falafel platter with them. They're so, so yummy and they're so easy to make, especially if you have a food processor. You can do a lot of things with a food processor that you wouldn't have as easy of a time doing just by hand, especially if you're trying to get the perfect texture. So if you don't already have a food processor, I'm gonna link down to my favorite one down below. If I'm already making you hungry with these sweet potato recipes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You know, speaking of food processors, I have an amazing sweet potato hummus recipe. I used to have this dream to have a hummus company and the sweet potato hummus was going to be the star, the star product because it's unique though also familiar. It's so easy to make like almost all of these recipes on my list are. It's filling, it's nutritious, it's just a fantastic recipe. So that sweet potato hummus is a must and to make it, you definitely need a food processor. So again, I'm gonna link down to my favorite food processor in the comment section below. If you like a savory breakfast, then you should definitely try my sweet potato hash, AKA sweet potato home fries. It is so easy to make. Like, oh, I hate to say that everything on this list is so easy to make, but it is, it's easy to make. The way I make it absolutely amazing is by adding smoked paprika. So you've got onions, garlic, red bell pepper, and smoked paprika to add smokiness and depth and just like extra savoriness. And this is an amazing recipe for breakfast or brunch or any other time of day as well. So if the sweet potato hash is your breakfast, then a wonderful sweet potato option for lunch would be a Buddha bowl that includes sweet potato. And especially my Caribbean inspired Buddha bowl or bento box or however you wanna eat it, it's really great, especially because this is something I like to make on my meal prep day. So say I meal prepped on Sunday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Everything is already in the refrigerator, already prepared, and I can just pull it out and put it in a bowl or a bento box. And it is so wonderful for lunch because it's easy. So that Caribbean inspired bento box with roasted sweet potatoes is absolutely perfect for lunch. And the perfect sweet potato dinner would be my tikka masala made with tempeh and roasted sweet potatoes and also roasted cauliflower. It is, oh my gosh. Like, it's oh my gosh. I make this recipe at least once a week. It's super easy. I make it in the instant pot, though you could also do it on the stove. It's very filling, it's fragrant, it's, oh, it's so delicious to eat. It's like comfort food, but it's also nutritious. It's absolutely like, oh man, definitely top of the list. After dinner, you're gonna need dessert. So I highly recommend trying my no-bake gingerbread sweet potato bars. They are like amazing. And they are a healthy dessert too. So you can feel good about having these after you've had dinner. Um, and you can even have them for breakfast. I mean, the only thing that they're sweetened with are dates and maple syrup, and that's it. Not even a lot of it. They're made with nuts and coconut and all of the most wonderful 
gingerbread spices like ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. I even put some cayenne pepper and black pepper in mine because I like a heat in my gingerbread. So give those a try. They are amazing all year long, but I especially like to make them around the holidays because I'm in the mood for gingerbread, if you, you know what I mean. So those are my 10 favorite unique sweet potato recipes. These recipes are tried and true. People love them. And if you want even more sweet potato recipes, make sure you pick up a copy of my cookbook. You can buy it wherever books are sold. It's called Sweet Potato Soul, the cookbook. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, also called Sweet Potato Soul. And of course, follow me on Instagram also at sweet potato soul you it's you know what it's extremely easy to find me so just go ahead and follow me and find me everywhere please go ahead if you love sweet potatoes as much as i do make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel leave a comment and share this video with someone else who also loves sweet potatoes comment below what your favorite type of sweet potato mine are definitely these Japanese sweet potatoes, at least for the moment, because they're super, super, super sweet. But I like all sweet potatoes. So tell us down below what's your favorite sweet potato and also your favorite way to prepare sweet potatoes too. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. I love you.